Snow White. <sighs> Snow White. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Snow White. Huh? Oh, hey, Lilith. When did you get here? Ten minutes ago. Oh, really? Sorry, I was thinking about something else. Just kidding. I just got here. Are you crafting another weapon? Yeah, and I think this one is gonna be my masterpiece. Who is it for? I still haven't decided that yet. Let me see. Looks like a high-caliber rifle. <laughs> That's what Red Hood typically wields. Hmm. I made some improvements. Decreased the weight and increased the range. This might make the recoil more severe, but I'm thinking of applying a reversal device on the butt. The recoil was definitely a bit much during the simulation I just ran, but a bit of fine-tuning should fix that problem. Impressive. Not only that, but by consolidating all the Seven Dwarves' functions into one... Snow White, I heard you sequestered yourself in your workshop and have been doing nothing but making weapons. That's right. Why? I want to be as powerful as you are. When I'm as strong as you are physically, I'll know that I'm growing stronger mentally too. Why do you want to be strong? The stronger you are, the better. <laughs> yes, that's true, but you need a reason to become stronger. If you don't know what you're striving for, you can only improve so much. I presume there is something motivating you. There is. Tell me. I don't want to lose anyone else. If I'd been stronger, we wouldn't have lost to Anichiro. And Red Hood would never have left like that. She wouldn't even have been corrupted in the first place. She wouldn't... have deserted me. Do you still hate her for leaving? Yes. Weren't you close friends? Yes, but not anymore. Not after she abandoned me. Do you really believe that? <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a shame. You mean for Red Hood? For all of you. I can understand why Red Hood did what she did. She knew that her body was slowly decaying, and she knew how her story would end. The worst part for her was forcing someone else to give her story its final ending. And not just anyone, but her closest friends. In that kind of situation, what other option did she have? Running away may not have seemed like the best option to her, but it was the only way to make sure as few people got hurt as possible. On the other hand, I can understand your frustration at having to let her go. Even though the end was approaching, there was nothing you could do for her. Despite all of that, it doesn't give you grounds for harboring hatred towards her. <laughs> I suppose what makes me most upset of all is that we didn't get to have a proper farewell. Us having to part ways was unavoidable, I, I understand that. It could have been handled better. But how? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. However, it's not too late, so we should keep thinking. She's dead. This won't be the first time this happens. <sighs> Whether you like it or not, there are going to be times where you need to part ways with those who are dear to you. And we don't want to send them off unceremoniously like Red Hood, do we? <sighs> You're not dying, are you? Wh why would you think that? Just tell me you're not. I'm not. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I miss her. I shouldn't have said those things to her. I feel terrible. It's okay. I'm sure she'd understand.
Oh, I'm anxious. Everything's superfluous, so we vanish from paradise. I shall grant you victory, Your Grace. Play around with them for a bit longer. The top brass are asking you to report in? Correct. And they only want to talk to you and Lilyweiss? Correct again. They wanted someone who was in command. They couldn't have picked a worse time. We're in the middle of a skirmish here. This is the only opportunity they've had to get in touch with us. According to preliminary scans, there won't be any attacks from the Raptures for the next three days. They're a fair distance away, and there are a lot of obstacles between us and them. It shouldn't take long for us to report in. Has the situation changed? I can't say right now, but there's a high chance it has. We'll be back soon enough, so don't worry too much. Let's see... Dorothy. Yes? You assume the role of leader in the absence of the Commander and I. Me? Yes. Hmm. Are you up to it? I can do it. Although to be honest, I'm not entirely confident that everyone will listen to me. For example, this one here with the blade. I cannot be subservient to someone weaker than myself. Exhibit A. Not least of all, a Philistine who besmirches the fine art of fighting with one's own body. Exhibit B. You're not serious, are you, Scarlet? Perhaps, perhaps not. If you listen to Dorothy, you can face me one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm, a most enticing proposition. I don't like the sound of this. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Although, I'm sure nothing will happen. You'll be right back? <laughs> Promise. If I think it's going to take up too much time, I'll find a way to sneak out. Don't do that. <laughs> See you all later. I'm a bit apprehensive. Everything will be fine. How much longer does my body have left? About two centuries, give or take a few years. Wow, I have a long time yet. I never anticipated living that long, especially given how I was designed to be effective in the short term. With things as they are. However, I can understand how Red Hood felt. Lilith, you have to stay strong. I don't want to hear weak talk like that. You're right, sorry. Just consider it a minor complaint. Stay alive, everyone! Better reload! Why don't we just develop something like an infinite magazine?
Wow, so you're all the goddesses? I'm Red Hood. Nice to meet you. Is anyone here a fan of the oldies by any chance? No one? Then come here. I'll play some for you. You're gonna love this. Hey, Snooty. What's with the umbrella? It's not even raining. How many times have I told you? Don't call me Snooty. And this isn't an umbrella. It's a parasol. A parasol? What the heck is that? You can use it to block the sunlight. Um, well, it serves the same purpose as an umbrella. So it's an umbrella. I've already told you, it's a parasol. Does it do a good job of blocking out the sun? Of course. That's what a parasol is meant to do. Then let me borrow it. I want to take a nap, but the sun is practically burning into my retinas. Actually, I misspoke. This isn't a parasol. Oh, come on! Don't be like that! Let me borrow it! No. <laughs> she never did end up giving it to me. That Perseronius. How much could a stinking umbrella possibly cost? Anyway... How come you're always so sensitive? That's no way to make friends. Instruct them to be gone. My sensitivity is paramount to maintaining my edge. Only then can I assure that I never lose. A sword must be kept in its sheath when it's not in use, for it is not to lose its edge. Don't you know that? Same goes for people. Remain in its sheath. Huh. I see. Is this a new sword technique? That's not what I meant. Grant me time, and I shall perfect this method. So she ended up accidentally cutting you? Is this the reason for the scar on your neck? She was super quick. With a speed almost imperceptible to the naked eye. Great. Just great. You see? She's impressed. I cannot accept such praise. Get out, both of you! <laughs> oh. <sighs> we sure did a lot oh. of stupid things. Don't you know, Red Hood? Books are food for the mind. Music can provide mental nourishment as well. We can't afford to be picky eaters, after all. I read a ton of books. Really? Sure. You want to see my latest read? Of course. Show me. My goodness, this cover is quite... Ow! What was that for? Look, my apologies. But to call something this obscene a book is sacrilegious! What are you talking about? It's totally a book! This can only sully the mind! Nothing wrong with the little hot and heavy sullying. Ow! I'm sorry, I can't control it! Somehow, I doubt that's the case. <laughs> That's when I knew. Rapunzel's true nature. Oh. Yes, that's me. I'm Red Hood. Nice to meet you. L likewise. Hmm. What's the deal? You look down in the dumps. Huh? Me? Well, it's just that other Nikkei's of the Goddess Squad are such remarkable individuals. And I don't really have anything that I'm good at. 
What are you talking about? No one is better or worse than the other. We've all got things we're good and bad at. No need to get upset over it. Just take a gander at me. Do I look exceptional in any way? Um, not really. Well, I suppose I have to admire your candor. Anyway, even a rabble like me can join the goddess squad, so don't be too hard on yourself. What's that you're working on, by the way? I heard you're pretty good with models. I'm designing a new weapon. Man, I really put my foot in my mouth with that one, didn't I? <sighs> Any chance you could whip a weapon up for me? Something super neato? Uh, sure. Is there anything you have in mind? A drill. Excuse me? A drill. Why a drill? Because it's cool. Hmm, fine. And I wanted to be able to shoot out bullets and missiles and stuff. Hmm. Why don't you ask me to make a gun with a press for victory button attached while you're at it? What? You mean you can't make it? I thought you can make everything, Snow. Uh, what did you call me? Your full name is way too long. Bit hard for me. Is it cool if I just call you Snow sometimes? <sighs> yes. It's okay. So about the gun, can you do it? Sure thing. I can make it. It might take some time, but I can do it. Awesome. Don't forget, you promised. Really going? You're leaving me? <gasps> Will you be able to go through with it? You're all far too nice for that. So I'm leaving. I'll go away and die quietly. <gasps> the Goddess Squad is truly amazing. You really are the goddesses of victory. I want to become a Nike just like you all. You all give us hope. So that's what I want to do. For fighting on mankind's behalf, I sincerely thank the Goddess Squad. You idiot! You stupid fool! Why? Why? Why didn't you leave like that? You could have at least given them a decent farewell. <sighs> You're such a loser. You're an embarrassment. You screwed it all up. <gasps> I have to go back. I... have to... I still, I, I still owe them. I do, but it's okay. I was able to say goodbye to them. About things we liked, what we didn't like. We talked about all sorts of stuff. So that's okay. I owe them a proper farewell. And I... I need to be someone they can be proud of. I have to prove that. I'm not a loser. Stay alive, everyone!
Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. Everyone, listen carefully. A large group of raptures are advancing towards the entrance of the Ark. Come again? This timing, does it not seem intentional? How many of them are there? About four squadrons. Four? What about our defenses? It'll buy us some time, but due to the sheer number coming at us, we shouldn't expect it to hold out long. And... Anachiro is with them as well. Not it again. They've been waiting for this. Yes. We can only presume this is a sneak attack intended to be put into action once the Commander and Lilith were away. How they came to be aware of this, we have no idea. Perhaps some kind of intuition on their part. When will the Commander and Lilith be back? We haven't been able to get a hold of them. We've put in several urgent calls, but there hasn't been any answer. So there is a possibility that they were attacked? Yes. Then pray tell, what is our course of action? We'll carry out a surprise attack. How so? It's too dangerous to engage in a confrontation here. There are too many important facilities in the immediate area. So we'll attack them first. We have to make sure that they don't get near the entrance of the Ark. I like it. What about the other troops on our side? All available troops who have been stationed nearby will be joining us. We're calling for any and all available units to assist. But surely we can't leave such a strategic area like this undefended! The Raptures don't intend on attacking this place. You mean they're pressing ahead? Yes. A direct confrontation is what they're after. Their forces far outnumber ours. It is hardly what one would call a fair fight. We're not entirely sure whether a confrontation is what they want. But one thing is for sure, they're heading for the Ark's entrance. Now everyone get ready. We'll be leaving straight away. How are our chances looking? What are you talking about? It's a done deal. We'll win. Phew. There are too many of them. They just keep coming! We're running out of ammo! We can't give up the fight just yet, otherwise we'll be losing another line of defense. I'll radio in for a resupply, so let's continue. You know as well as I do that supply troops aren't fighters. They'll get routed on the way here. I suggest we fall back and get some supplies. Hmm. You should all go. I shall stay behind to hold them off. At long last, I am ready. The full brunt of my power can finally be unli- Curses! Let's fall back and get our supplies. Raptures up ahead! How come there were so many of them? The squadron that was bringing in the rear advanced straight to the front. They're attempting to bash their way through our ranks with sheer brute force. What should we do? Hmm. Just look at how many of them there are. They'll make it to the Ark's entrance in no time. We have to stay here and hold them off. Everyone, can you do it? Of course. <sighs> Goddess Squad, can you do it? Yes, I can do it. I'll try. Let's go. Get lost. I'm busy. Like this. Why don't they just develop something like an infinite vaccine?
shall grant you victory, Your Grace. Clear. We... we actually got them all! T'was barely enough to constitute a warm-up. Everyone, stay still. I'm going to check for any damage. There's only one squadron remaining, along with Anichiro. The mass-produced Nikes have kept her hamstrung for the time being, but that won't last long. This is the only chance we have to rest and carry out repairs. I've got to call in the supply troops immediately. <sighs> Did you guys hear that? These heinous beasts are hell-bent on putting us six feet under. Rapture's up ahead, coming in fast. Everyone administer what maintenance you can. Once you're ready, we're going back into battle. Understood. Okay. <sighs> I know. It has not been many moons since I made all of your acquaintance, but I would like to proclaim. Those gunshots. I've heard them somewhere before. Is it the support troops? Hold on, I'm getting a report. <sighs> what? <gasps> That's... But it can't be! Dorothy, can you please explain what's going on? Red Hood... is behind them. She's laying waste to them all. Art thou lying? What? You want them? I'm in the zone, baby. Ugh. My head. Oh. Heat. Oh. Stick. Stay where you are! It's not your turn yet. <gasps> That's it. Just like that? What are you looking at? Is it really her? Snow White, did you confirm? Yes. It's her. It's Red Hood. <sighs> Thank God. She lives. We have to back her up. No. We'll join her after we're done with our maintenance and settled our supplies. But she's... It'll be fine. This is Red Hood we're talking about here. She never loses. You're right. Very well. I'll tell the supply troops to get a move on. We'll join forces with Red Hood at the midpoint. <laughs> 